Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Perfect Genetics Challenge Generation 6 Par, I don't even know at this point. <laughs> part 20? That sound right? Um, so where are you? Girl, why is it? Okay, it's not your job to scold my child. So I simply don't remember her name, so that's why I'm typing in Haley. Um, get to school. <sighs> I don't, her grade is so bad. Like, I sent her to school yesterday. She stayed up late working on homework, so I guess resetting her reset her homework as well. But I sent her to school yesterday. She was at school, but for some reason, like, her grade went down. I don't know why it happened there. But she's really bad right now. Also, yes, I did put Amalia here in uh, Supernatural clothes. Uh, cause I just, I thought it worked. Cause, so, let's see, Callie, where's her boyfriend? Jacqueline, he looks quote unquote normal, so does Jacqueline's boyfriend Cornell, or not boyfriend yet, but Cornell, yeah, he looks normal. Brandon, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hook him up with this Maggie Flynn, who will be getting renamed, and something that doesn't start with a C. Uh, Maggie, yeah. She looks, again, quote-unquote, normal. So, it's just that, like, Amalia did not look normal. She was playing, like, she was really looking the whole midnight hollow thing. Joseph Doe. Yeah. We're looking for women, Stephen. We're looking for women. I mean, do they know any other girls? Because, again, Maggie is going to be with Brandon. Um, Cecilia, who will be getting renamed. But if, it, if, if we really need to, where are you going? They are very impatient today. If I do anything, like if I leave them, oh, and I don't know why the kids didn't go to school. But didn't reset his homework. I am so confused as to why Haley is like flunking at everything right now. Just saying. Hmm. Yeah, she looks very gray out of Creatism. Uh, but like in Creative Sim and like here, she actually looks again quote unquote normal colored, but she looks very gray. Oh, bit, uh, hold her hands again. I don't remember if we already did that, but I will say though, there's this. I've been reading the Tiger's Curse series. I actually just finished it um, by Colleen Hook. It is amazing. I love Ren, <laughs> but every time they talk about Kushan, this is honestly the type of like outfit I picture him wearing, especially the shirt, even though like it's not from, you know, modern times, um, and the boys tend to dress in button downs, um, but I don't know, like, I would just always end up picturing Kushan in like a, a gray and black version of this shirt, even with, I don't necessarily imagine the necklace but like with the the armbands and everything Cause I don't know I just I always do it's weird I want to be more than just flirty <laughs> Sophie's also having a really hard time oh come on What are you doing? Audra. She wants to practice with her training dummy, so I'm going to send her outside. Now that she's not pregnant, because they can't use any of the martial arts stuff when they're pregnant. But now that she is currently not pregnant, we're going to... I've been letting her work on it all the time. Also, when I was 
aha ha, we're very alluring. Embrace. God, all of these options suck. <laughs> Dip kiss, I guess. Um, but when I was like editing the tier anniversary, there was this one part that I, like this one of the guys rejected Trinity's flowers, and I'm like, no, get out of my house. And I got really loud and very. That's not, okay, that's not Audra complaining. So that must be like the maid or something having a problem that I keep hearing yell. Nice track pants. Unless, I think this is like actually the tuxedo, but I was gonna say, those looked like track pants. Just saying. Um, okay, he does, ooh, we need to, how have we fallen so far behind on the guitar? He's playing it like all the time. Anyways, uh, I've honestly forgotten what it's called, um, and it's driving me nuts because I actually, like, there are certain songs that'll play at work. I'm like, oh, I hate this song because of this reason, but I can't remember what this, like, because of how it sounds, but I can't remember what it's called. Um, but basically, like, I get too loud, and it gets all weird and funky sounding. Uh -huh. Uh, so... <laughs> I got a new mic. It's not here yet. It'll actually, it's going to take a while. Uh, and I will admit, I did not buy it from, like, Amazon or I actually bought it off of eBay. <laughs> Should I have done that? Probably not. But, like, I looked into, like, where I was buying it from. And, like, all the reviews were, like, super positive And saying that it was really, like, it came really great. Uh, it's a blue snowball. Because I can't afford the Yeti as much as I would like the Yeti. I can't afford the Yeti. And I found the snowball on, like, a good deal. And then I get, I've bought the arm for it. Like, an arm to go with it, too. Because, honestly, I don't have room on my desk. Oh. I don't have room on my desk. Uh, to just have it sitting in front of me. I honestly don't really know where I'm going to clip this arm thing, either. Because there is no lip on my desk except for on the very front. <laughs> So it's probably going to be a bit awkward. I'm going to I'll I'm going to make this work. It will work. Um but yeah, I have ordered a new mic, so hopefully I will eventually sound a whole heck of a lot better. Um it will be kind of odd not wearing a headset for once, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm actually I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I kind of deal on like both the arm and the mic. And so, like, all together, I spent, like, $35. <laughs> Again, this could come back and, like, bite me in the butt. But, oh. Um, oh. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I remember, I remember this. Um, I keep saying, um, I'm sorry. But, like, honestly, the, the mic was, you know, I think it was, like, $20. The arm was, like, 12 it's not like I just lost forty dollars, seventy, a hundred. You know, it's not like I was. I'm losing like a huge amount of money trying this. So if it doesn't work, then I know. Okay, I do actually need to look into a bit more professional stuff. Um, not something off of eBay, but I thought I'd look at eBay because I've only ordered ever ordered off of eBay twice. The first time was a disaster. The second time was really well. So like. Like, it turned out really well. Because the first time, like, I got... Ah. Okay. I'll be back. I've been summoned downstairs. So, I'm gonna... I'll... Yeah, I'll just be back in just a second. Alright. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um. Where were we? We're getting... We're getting married. Right now? Did we just get married? I honestly don't remember. It's only been a few minutes. But it's okay. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, engaged, field trips, so we are married. Uh, Griffin! Mitchell Flynn is coming home with Callie. Okay, so if we are married now, we already exchanged rings, right? No, no we haven't, no we haven't, oh! <laughs> 
thought we had. Okay, <laughs> that's what I was asking. Oh, it said, like, propose to their beloved or something. Oh, he gets the diamond. Lovely. <laughs> no! I guess we could save all the kids. I guess Striker was the one to accept. Ooh, first, ooh, ooh. <laughs> the one to accept the whole a Midnight Hollow look the quickest. I mean, though he doesn't look very Midnight Hollowy, he married the girl that looks like she's that like you can tell us from Midnight Hollow. I don't know where this chick is going, Amy. Just letting you know that's gonna be uh, occupied here in a second. Okay, she went outside. Oh, that's great. He wants to become a. Gr oh, we're getting the grandparent wishes. Oh, that would be a lot of fun, but I don't think I'll be able to do that. Show off new belt. Well, that's right, cause she upgraded. She upgraded. She upped her skill. The teen should be getting home like any time now. What's her grade looking like? <laughs> looking like an A to me. <laughs> Can we just age Callie up? Ooh, Jacqueline's really close to it, but I don't want to age them up on the same day. So I think we will age Callie up. We'll, we'll have her invite over. I already forgot her guy's name. Jacqueline. Yeah. Uh, invite him over. And then she's going to be teleported outside. Um, also, I don't know. If I go quiet... You can almost hear, it almost sounds like static, and I, it's there in everything I record using this headset, and so I'm really hoping that that goes away, um, with the new mic, be really nice, and I'll probably just use like a set of earbuds or something, because I used to wear headphones all the time, just like plain old pair of headphones, but see my headset, the headphone part, like actually like, it covers my whole ear, um, the old headphones I used to wear don't, and so it's like really uncomfortable for me to wear just any set of headphones now. They have to be very particular, like cover my whole ear, or I can't wear them. I like refuse to wear them because they're just that uncomfortable to me. Also, I tried putting glasses on Steven, and none of them were looking like they didn't look as cute as they did when he was younger. You know, they didn't look as Harry Potter like. Um, so I wasn't feeling them, and I'm just like, yeah. It's okay, he got contacts. <laughs> so. Are you, yeah, okay. He needs to keep working with. Ah, oh, no! Jacqueline. <laughs> I never believe them when they say that, oh, something came up. I always, I'm like, you're just trying to get out of this. <laughs> Don't ditch me. Don't ditch me. Almost like, it sounds like I'm saying don't touch me with uh, an odd accent. Don't ditch me. <laughs> don't ditch me. No, I'm saying don't ditch. <laughs> don't ditch me. I was gonna say, is there a dog in the bathroom with him? Because that would be awkward. We got 102. Oh, yeah, I had him calling sick today so we could get married. Ha ha! Oh! Oh no! We've been. Oh no! We were ready. Who was it? I mean, that was our boss right there. This guy. That is our boss. <laughs> Oh, 
Honestly, the, like, long hair and then the purple makeup makes me think that he's from, like, an alternate version of Kiss. <laughs> Just me. So she's pregnant. That's good. He wants to... Oh, we can choose a trait. He wants to make out with her, though. So evil, clumsy, snob, grumpy, and handy. She honestly has, like, all except handy, they're all really useless traits. Let's be honest. Sorry if you can hear my chair creaking. <laughs> Ooh, she can be a criminal just like her brother. Ooh, and we need to get her a job. Amalia. That's who I'm talking about. Jacqueline, just do your homework. Uh, Brandon, we're too hungry. Then she will be complaining of being too hungry too rather soon. So go ahead and go eat. Uh, you go eat. Snack. Actually, I guess he likes Koopy. He likes Koopy Garbonara. Koopy. <laughs> I was gonna say it again. I'm like, Goopy Carbonara. Oh, did Jacques Wynn still end up showing up? Who be at the doorbell? Jacqueline. Oh! Jacqueline did show up! I love how his shoes are coming apart. That is great! That's fantastic! I love that. I would never use those. That would drive me insane. Having, like, my shoes popping out like that. The world's creepiest fan came in today to beg for autographs. He knew everything about Caleb and wanted to be part of the- We're not a band, we're a symphony. Thank you very much. Um, the manager was about to call the police, but Caleb took the creepy encounter in stride. After a strange, confusing hour of conversation, he managed to convince the fan that too much adoration was bad. Now there's one less stalker in the world, and everybody is happy. Who got on the honor roll? Was that Lori? Is that Lori? Lori! Ah, another birthday! Woo, 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 woo! Okay. You, mister, are no celebrity. Get your head out of the clouds. What you thinking? No. Ah, oh, Lori. Lori gets to be teleported. It's an honor to be teleported, okay? Just saying. Just saying. Okay, this guy aged up. Jacqueline. I love how these two are celebrating. Oh, okay. His girlfriend is too. Romantic interest. I keep calling her his girlfriend. They aren't they aren't that far. They're just romantic interests. What does he have? Did I already sell the stuff in his inventory yet? Yeah, I can get rid of his homework. I guess. Oop. Oh, he's in... He's in overalls. Yo, welcome to the family! Oh, not roommate. Ta-da! Did I give him a custom skin? I can't remember. I know that it, it was either Jacqueline's boyfriend or it's... Fruit grow forbidden. F oh my gosh, he's so accomplished. Uh, let's take him into creative stem really quick. Why not? We'll look at his traits. I might give him a new lifetime wish, and we'll see if I can have a custom skin on him or not. If not, then I will put one on him, and I'll do his makeover later. 
Okay. I don't think I have a custom skin on him. I'm in a really odd mood. Just saying. <laughs> I don't. Okay. I do not. Looks no different. There we go. He's in custom skin. Woo. And he has one trait. One trait. Actually, Amalia was the same way. She only had one. So we'll get rid of the top one, which happened to be inappropriate. That's okay with me. Star quality. I don't think I have this place. Or actually, I might because of Griffin. In... Yeah, can we just do fashion phenomenon? I mean, you always have the opportunity, the, uh, the stylist. No, well, do you? No. Okay, we'll do superstar actor and I'll change it at a later time if I need to. So. There, ladies and gentlemen, la Jacqueline. Olay. Nope, wrong. <laughs> Completely different. Hmm. I get to get up early in the morning. I'm so tired. I think this is what's going on here. I am exhausted, and I get to get up early again tomorrow. <sighs> yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know. Let's sell this one. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit my mic. Um, but I will put Amalia Strike. Oh, Lori. Forgot about Lori. We earned another new belt. Ooh, she's in green. Girl, green is so your color. Okay, we're gonna trigger her age transition really quick if I hit the wrong, the right button. The right button, I was hitting the wrong button. I will age Lori up and then I will put her makeover along with Callie and Jacqueline's makeover all at the end. Um, and I, I'm also going to, I was going to have Stryker and Amalia's at the beginning because I wasn't planning on aging up any Sims in this part. But since I did, I can just move their makeovers to the end with everybody else. That's my timer. Um, but we got to get her to age up first. So. We need to get some jobs. So is actor like an option? Did she get her job? Nope. And this is what the row of computers is for. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what? Who's yelling? Brandon? I told you to get food. It's not my fault you didn't listen. Unless we're out of goopy carbonara. No. That's not what I wanted. I didn't want to go to Harlan. Ugh. So bad she has to age up in the in the hail. <laughs> Here we go. I sound just like it. Choose a trait. Lovely outfit. <laughs> Clumsy loves the cold. Friendly and athletic. Okay. I can deal with that. And watch her age jump up to be like after Jacqueline or something. That's what happened when I first aged Steven up. No? Okay. It'll happen after I bring her out of Kratosim, though. I can, like, guarantee it. So, I will go ahead and end this part here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And, yeah. So, thank you guys, and I'll see you guys all in my next video.
Bye, guys. Mm.